how are you? I'm getting ready. I'm logging on to, I'm trying to log on to my computer so I can at least be able to um, read you all's comments. So give me a second so that way I can just go on with the tutorial. I may have to sign in under my other name. Before we get started, do anyone have any questions? Anything that you want me to touch on, shall I say? Okay, I'm gonna start, I ain't gonna wait. Okay, so the first thing, and I'll just check up periodically. Um, I wanna talk about brushes first. Um, these brushes are by, so I hope you have pen and paper as well. These are by Alpha Brush. Um, you can actually like Google Alpha Brush um, on Instagram. There are some codes for these. Okay, I think I got in to my other one. All right, cool. So next I'm gonna talk about, um, well, first let me go back. So this size right here is about a 14. It's one of the larger sizes. I don't recommend this as a beginner, but once you get a little used to it, I think you could use it. Um, this one here is by Poochie's Nails. You don't need any type of license or anything. And when you order these, ask for them already pinched. And these are Kalinsky brushes. This here is about a nine. No, excuse me, this is a 12. This is, I believe this is an eight oval. It has a little oil on it, so I won't be using this one, but this is the one I really wanna show you guys with, but it has a little too much oil. I'm gonna run a little acetone through it and see if we can get it back together with. This is what I would recommend starting with. It's a little finer, as you can see. It's smaller, a little lightweight. It's not as heavy. So we're gonna to try to use that one today. Um, once you get your nails, I got these from Sally's. I like the clear only because you can um, do clear designs. You can put uh, colored acrylic over top of them and they're um, pretty good. The Sally's ones, they're a little thick for me, but that's what we're gonna use for right now. Um, your finger here, your practice finger, all these things will be listed in my um, storefront on Amazon. We talked about buffers earlier. I prefer the purple buffers for um, acrylics. Also for acrylic nails, this is a 100, 100 file here. This is a 100, 180 file. It's usually listed there. I got this from the nail supply, but if you're going online, you wanna get the 100 and the 180. The 100, <clears throat> it is a harder grit. So that is better for filing. Uh, like shaping your nails. The 180 is great for like buffing and it's not as harsh. So think of it as going down being rougher, the number going up being a little lighter. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna try to see if I can log in from here. Okay, and then we talked about the clear. We'll get back to that. Okay. Y'all, I'm still um, trying to get in. So give me a second. Okay, and then you're gonna need a little dish, something like this. I got this from the nail supply, but it's just a little dish to put your monomer in. The monomer that I suggest and great for um, beginners is the Mia Secrets um, liquid monomer and the Mia Secrets powder. And this is the multi-balance natural pink acrylic. Y'all, I'm still trying to... All right. So we talked about acetone. Make sure you have you some acetone. This comes from Sally's. Um, it's great. And get the pure acetone. Don't get the one that's blue. Get the one that's clear. And it comes in the clear bottle. You'll need alcohol. I just took regular alcohol and put it in here. And then we talked about primer. You're gonna need your primer. And I suggest the No Lift Nails one. And all I did was put it in an empty nail bottle. I get these nail bottles from the nail supply. So that says primer. I use a little, this here, it's like a nail polish holder. And I have the paper out here so that way I can dab this on here, that way I don't put too much. So you'll see me do that. So I think we covered basically everything and then here's the cuticle oil you'll need, okay? Let me check to see if I have any questions. 
Okay, good, good. Um, I'll do a more in-depth one with my real nails on my YouTube once it's time for that. But I just, being that I just did them yesterday, um, when that time comes, we'll do it. Okay, so let's get started because I don't want to be long-winded. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, you're starting fresh. I suggest taking, I want to have some cotton here. This is like um, no lint cotton. Take a little alcohol or you can take some acetone if you have on like polish or had on polish. You want to just kind of, we're pretending this is a nail, okay? Wipe your nail down. So acetone preferably. Wipe the nail down. That's going to dehydrate your nail. It's going to get any polish that you have on off. And then just take the 180 side. That's the one. And just lightly kind of buff your nail. You want to rough it up just a little bit. Okay. And then what I like to do is take alcohol or this spray here. Spray it. Where is my pusher? Oh, here it is. And I take the cuticle pusher and I go around the edges and just kind of push the cuticle back. Very gently, not rough. You're going to just push it back. Any little excess skin. Now, you may see a little skin still sticking up. That's fine. What I do normally with my drill, I go in with the sanding band. I'll show you what the sanding band is. This is what the sanding band looks like. And my drill here, I'm trying to, everything is kind of Jimmy rigged here, y'all. And then what I do is with that little excess skin, you see how I'm holding it? It's almost like holding a pencil and you want to keep the um, speed down. And then I just go around here. I'm going to turn it on just for a second. And you just go right around your cuticle. Get just close. You want to put it at, I want to say a 45 degree angle and just go around the um, sides. My angle may be wrong. And then you want to just lightly go across the top here and rough it up a little bit more. And you don't want to see any shiny parts on your nails. But again, get as close to that cuticle area as you can. And you're going to just kind of get the rest of that loose skin that's dangling around your nails off. Okay? Now, I want to show you both kind of drill and... Um, regular way. So again, we're going to go back. So if we didn't use the drill, we're going to take the soft and buffing side and just go around. The way you want to do that is kind of lay your foul at almost a 45 degree angle and just go around like that. And that's how you would do it with a nail file. Lightly rough it and that should take that excess off. Okay. After you do that, what I like to do is take some more cotton, take the swipe, I don't know why I can't pull this up. And then just wipe the nail. I just wipe it off. That dehydrates the nail again, okay? Now, what I do, let's match up a nail that will fit on here. And the thing with this also is that um, you don't want the nail to be too small. I remember when I used to go to the nail... Um, place and get my nails done. I always say, why do you can't use a smaller nail so I can get a skinnier point? The key is you want it to go from side to side, from one side of the nail bed to the next. But this little piece here, you want it to be just like on the tip of your nail. So you want to look, and if it's too wide, you can file it down. Let me check this one. This one is a better fit because it goes from side to side. So, now we've wiped that off. Let's get the glue. So, now you're going to take the glue and just put it on that rim of the nail. Now, this is a fake nail. This ain't a real nail. Oop, I just got some glue on my nail. And you want to just kind of hold it there right on the tip you don't want to go past that little line that little imaginary line 
I want to make sure y'all can see. So I'm going to just hold this here for a second. Now on this thing here, I normally add the spray because, again, this is not a real nail. You don't have to add the spray. Oh, Lord, hold on. See, this one I need an assistant. Hold on. Trying to spray it, y'all, so it'll stay. Okay. But you don't need this spray. I only really got this spray for my jewels and for these little things because they're hard. Like I said, you got to really rough it up. Let that dry. Let me see if y'all have any questions while that's drying. Hello. Well, I'll be honest with you. If you get stuff a little at a time, I would say you shouldn't. Um, like you can find deals on the monomer and the acrylic for like twenty dollars. Your nails, they shouldn't. I that's like ten dollars. You roughly would spend about fifty. I'm only using this nail for practice to show you guys. Um, I always suggest people start with practicing that way before you get on your nails and you start messing up your own nails. But um, I have a lot of polish, but it's stuff I've bought over time. Like with the jewels, all this stuff I suggest you get off of AliExpress. Um, you get more for your money. Um, but the basics like this, like AliExpress doesn't sell Mia Secrets. Mia Secrets is not sold like in stores. Only They only have an Amazon store. It is the best... Um, acrylic system for beginners this right here you don't need like i said you could use alcohol or acetone buy stuff a little at a time you don't have to buy it but like i said look for codes on your brushes this again you don't need it's just alcohol you can use alcohol this is probably five dollars at sally's this is actually empty i just poured it and i'm glad i kept it though um what are these a dollar you know, nail, we're going to use this too. So, nail, that's a dollar. Um, I use this, but they're only like maybe three. So, I mean, just buy a little bit, but you can't. I would buy the basics. The first things I would buy would be nails, um, acrylic, monomer, and primer. That would be the first, and a brush, of course. You can start out with a cheap brush. But to be honest with you, the better the brush, the better you're going to be able to lay acrylic. But like I said, over time, maybe get two things. Let me start with my um, acrylic monomer and powder. And even if you don't have primer, use alcohol and a brush. Those three things, basically. And maybe just practice on your natural nail until you can get you some um, nails. Then maybe the next week, buy you some nails. And then your nails are going to probably fall off because you don't have the primer. So that gives you more of a chance to practice. And then once you get your primer and you get better at it. So let me finish. So um, I'm just going to do a basic square or like some people like. Um, so we're going to cut that down. Um, I want to make it where it's not too long because everybody don't wear them long. Just a nice length. So that looks like a pretty good length. I think it's kind of on there crooked. So now we're going to take the rough side, the 100 side. Remember, going down, we're just going to foul. Now, if you're like, okay, I don't want them. I want them to be a little smaller and you want to bring them in. Take your uh, clipper here and just kind of I can do it better on my nails kind of take it off the side a little bit but start out like I said don't it doesn't have to be a big investment but think of the money that you'll save let's say if you spent $50 on all your stuff you just saved yourself hundreds of dollars because now you can do your nails every two weeks where you are paying. Some people pay $100 every two weeks, $80.
I'm in some nail groups and for jewels and all of that stuff, those girls charge like $180 just to get your nails done. A hundred. And you see how I got my finger here on this side of the file? That's to give me a little leverage just to get deeper into that. That's where well, dang on it. <laughs> the nail just went flying across the room, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to rough this up so we can re-glue another one. Well, ain't that something? <laughs> I was look, being a little rough. Hold on. Y'all was like, girl. Hold on. We're going to put another one on. And that's another thing. You want to make sure that um, once you uh, file, you get all the dust off of your natural nail. I'm not worried about it on this nail here, but on your natural nail. See how that stuck better than the last time I'm having to add the spray. So we're gonna let that dry and I'm gonna look to see if we have any questions. And I still can't get on. Okay. So, so far everybody's gone, but I'm just gonna cut this down. That's why I don't really suggest the, like I said, these um, tips because they're a little thicker. So they're harder to stay even on a regular nail. So it's just not this one. So I'm gonna try to be a little more gentler. And that's another thing too. When you do use tips, you may have to hold where you uh, glue the tip just a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I know nobody's on, but just in case anybody come back and watch the live, I'm just going to rough around where you glue the nail. So in between here, I'm just going to rough that just a little bit. And that makes sure that you, doesn't have, you don't have a hump and it's a blending. Okay, so nobody's on. So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to just um, take your primer. And the reason this blue cloth is on here so that I can just dab it on there so I don't get too much. And then you're just going to put your primer, not as close to the cuticle, but in between on that nail bed part there. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of monomer to my dish. Well, since nobody's on here asking questions, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this nail. And I guess if someone sees it, they'll ask questions. I'm gonna use this Poochie's brush. It's a little shorter. It will be the next best thing to an eight. Um, so we've added our primer now. We're pulling out our acrylic. I like to kind of give it a good shake so that way it's mixed up well. And I just put the top down and that way it's kind of like at an angle and then I can see what I'm doing. Somebody's still on. Okay, so what you want to do, this is called burping your brush. You take your brush and you lay it kind of flat in like that. Let's let all the bubbles come out of it, what have you. So put that in, and then what you wanna do is just kinda wipe it. So this is a fresh nail. You wanna just hold, tap your brush a little bit, let it bounce in the acrylic powder. And you see that little white powder stuff? It's gonna go away. And then what you wanna do is lay, 
it should be enough right there in between where you started and then I wiped my brush you want to pat your sides so it doesn't run across the sides and I'm pushing it down towards the cuticle and then wiping it back up now I'm taking the belly of my brush, which is this part here, and just kind of flattening everything out. And steady wiping my brush on my paper towel. Now I'm taking the tip and going around the edges so it doesn't get on the cuticle. And wiping, now I'm gonna put my, get my brush back in and just kind of go across that. I'm looking at it from side to side and I'm seeing that I already got established my, um, oh goodness, I can't think of the technical name off the top of my head, but basically you want to add more here because that's where our nails tend to break. So you want to have just a little bit more there. The technical word will come to me in a second. I can't believe I forgot. So now I'm dipping my brush back in, wiping it, and then I'm just going to dip just a little, like two to three pounces. And now I'm taking it backwards. And sweeping it forward. And something I want to make note of that um, you all can't really see, but what I'm doing is I'm holding it down here, but I'm touching it very, very lightly. Don't be aggressive with it. If you just touch real light, that's all you need. You don't need heavy pressure. That's when you start to mess up. So now I'm looking at it at all angles. This is what it looks like from that angle. And I'm gonna tell you, the better job you do of laying your acrylic, the less you have to file. But it'll take practice. That's why I say get you some practice fingers. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit more acrylic here at the tip. Just very lightly tap. And I'm brushing in the opposite direction just so that it blends. And there we have it. So, and take as many beads as, as you like. And what I mean by beads, this is a bead. When you put your um, brush in the monomer and then in the acrylic and you lay that. Like this is a bead I'm just gonna get next to the cuticle a little closer and that's considered a bead each time that you put your brush in the monomer and pick up acrylic no matter how big it is, how small it is. So don't get stuck on, oh, I got too little. Put it down, lay it down, and even if it takes you five uh, acrylics on there, and but it's neat, it doesn't matter. Some people get caught up in, oh, I did one bead, or it only took me two beads, or whatever. So that's what the nail is looking like. And always look at it from every angle. So if it's something minor that could be fouled off, then that's fine, but this is all you have to do. So now I'm just gonna close this up, wipe your brush off really good. I'm gonna double check, but I don't think anybody's on, but I'm just gonna act like you're here. While that dries, I'm gonna put everything up and we'll go into filing now. And also you don't need this size they have smaller sizes. See, you have smaller sizes. So if you just wanna test it, like what I did was, I was like, I may wanna go back to the um, nail, going to the nail um, salon. So I start out with one smaller than this, like this one. So 
so it gets even smaller. So start out with a small one of this and your monomer, which is the eight ounces. That's the smallest size. I think they may sell four ounces of it. And you can just start there and that's not expensive because I don't want it to be expensive for you. So that's why I'm showing you the cheaper acrylic powders. You know, later on you can get into the Valentino uh, powders and the Young Nail powders. But right now I don't suggest those because the Mia Secrets is easy to work with. It's cheap and it won't cost you a lot of money. Okay, so no one's still on. So now you just tap. It's still a little wet. So we let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get online. I'm going to come back so that way I can get a little closer. 